Howdy, hey! Hey! Welcome to Coach's Corner. Happy it is Sunday. Sunday. Sunday fun day with Casey Crow. Yep. And Mel. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> cool. So yeah, so many good things are going to be happening this week. Lots of exciting stuff happening at the at the Nerd Gym. We are gearing up for our holiday accountability yes. challenge. So you'll be hearing us talk a lot about that upcoming and all the fun and exciting things that go along with that. Hey, Nora. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, staying staying on top of your self care game and making sure that you're making it to your workouts, especially as the holiday crush starts mm-hmm. pressing down on you. A lot of times, even you know, even for me, which I don't celebrate a whole lot during the holidays. I don't have like a big family with like a lot of extended like nieces and nephews. I have to buy gifts for none of that. Shit. Nice, but still. Just the mania kind of sets in, you know, like uh, people drive differently, um, their their traffic patterns are different in, in the shops and stores, all the stores get a little bit more crowded because they're like packing every end cap and yeah, so just these little stressors start to accumulate um, and it can be really rough, it can be really like, you know, triggering for a lot of people. And it's, uh, and it's important to remember to come to your happy space and and just you know it, it, get the body moving to release some of that stress uh, yeah just get it out shake it, it out. out shake it out yeah yeah so those of you who uh who've known me for a while know that one of the reasons i got into exercise to begin with got into physical activity to begin with um or rather the reason why i stayed it so i got into it because i was uh in physical pain and overweight one of the reasons why I stayed in it, because it was because of an unexpected side effect of the physical activity, which was it helped treat and fix my chronic anxiety depression, right? Um, I used to have like stone cold panic attacks, like for no reason at really inconvenient times, <laughs> you know, uh, where I'd break, feel myself like break out into a cold sweat, feel uh, the heart rate go up, all that kind of stuff. And those just got less and less frequent the more active I got later on. So that's one of the things that kept me in it. Um, but that doesn't mean that we're immune, right? Still happens, right. you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah, so you had a you had a thing recently. Yeah, yeah. so getting a little personal, um, last week I woke up with extreme anxiety and like I've I've been experiencing it off and on, not to the severity that I felt last week. Um, but I woke up with my heart racing, I felt like I wanted to cry, I didn't know why, you know, life is still just as busy and just as crazy as it has been, nothing new coming up or any of that anyway and so I went through my morning and I was just feeling it I didn't know how to react I didn't know what to do it was so overpowering and so I I went to school and I had to observe a class it was a yoga class and um, it was for something for one of my classes we have to observe different group fitness classes and that was one that I was doing that day and yoga doesn't let you just sit back and watch people do yoga, right? So the instructor had me, um, hey, um, had me do the class with them, and it was a power yoga, and I had never done that before, and it was tough. It was very hard, but let me just tell you that for that hour, for that whole hour, my anxiety, which was extreme from the moment I even walked into that room, um, it disappeared. And not did it just, just disappear, but I got emotional while I was in there. Like there was a point where we were doing some stretch. Coach Issa would know what it was, but it was something involving my hips, right? Mm-hmm. My legs were in awkward positions. And and, um, and I started like tears were coming down my face. Crazy. Yeah. And the instructor noticed that. And so she made a comment and she said, so f- if any of you in this position right now are feeling any kind of emotion, um, that's because we tend to hold a lot of stuff in our hips. Hmm. And I was like, what? You yeah. know, and if I wasn't feeling emotional at that moment and I didn't have tears rolling down my face, I would have been like, yeah, right. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I was like, oh my God, like yeah. whatever I'm going through, I'm holding it in my hips because yeah. I'm in this position right now and I am crying. Yeah, so that's that's very interesting that she says holding it in the hips because here's the thing, I've, I've been coaching people for a long time and one of the things that's come up multiple times, um, especially with very like high performing, high stress kind of people, you know, people who like 
work with a lot of other people underneath them and have deadlines and, you know, like professionals, like those kinds of people. Right? Yeah. Um, it's happened on more than one occasion that a heavy squat, specifically a heavy squat, mm. will put on the waterworks. And it's like, if that happens, like, don't, don't feel bad about it. It's, it's an interesting, um, very cathartic, but uncontrollable kind of thing that can and does happen sometimes. Oh. Uh, so that, that now that you said that um, with the hips, then it makes me wonder if that's um, specifically why squats seem to trigger that right. more than other exercises. Like I've never had somebody have a full emotional breakdown on something like a shoulder press or, a, right. you know, or some other thing. And we do think of holding stress in our shoulders, but we don't think about holding stress in our hips. So maybe you're onto something there. Not me. Well, yeah. It was, it was Erica, the amazing yeah. uh, power yoga there instructor. Right. And yeah. uh, it was just, it was beautiful. I mean, granted, my anxiety came back by the time I had walked to my car post-class. Um, but it was nice. And it kind of let me know, it kind of, because anxiety is something that's so new to me. Um, and so it's starting to kind of like escalate every time it comes, right? And so I was like, you know, for that hour, that that yoga made me, you know, not experience that anxiety. Maybe I need to start attending more yoga. So maybe you guys will start seeing me on Saturday mornings. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but it's just crazy that like natural you know modes will help because i'm yeah. very like skeptical about taking any kind of like medication mm -hmm. i i haven't really done any research on it and so i'm like well if i can do something as simple as an hour of yoga right and it can help my mind yeah. and it can Ooh, help yes. yes yeah yeah so it's like if you can't manufacture your own brain chemicals store-bought is fine but if you can manufacture them though like why wouldn't you Right. right. Yeah. Right. Um, well, actually, I, I know the answer to that. You wouldn't because doing a, an exercise class is like the last thing you want to do. Like the last thing what you want to do when you're actually experiencing a panic attack like that mm -hmm. is uh, to go to a place where there are people and physically exert yourself. That doesn't right. sound like the right thing to do right? right at the moment. It doesn't sound like the right thing to do, but just try to override all logic and reason just for a moment to get yourself yeah. there and it does uh make you feel better yeah it did and i didn't realize that was going to happen i wasn't going there because i knew i was going there because right. it was an assignment i had How'd to do, do it class and it was the, yeah. the deadline was that day right. and i was like of all days it has to be on this day that this is due and i was right. so angry and i was just like i hope nobody talks to me and smiles at me <laughs> whatever and um and yeah. I, and and it was just, ended up being just what i needed yeah so um yeah you wouldn't have gone otherwise no and if i would if i if it wasn't due that day i would have skipped yeah i would have skipped and i'm so glad that i went and so i mean it kind of gave me insight into myself and so yeah. i feel like that can help other people right um we don't always know how to deal with our stuff yeah Right yeah. And remember, you know, however you're feeling right now in this moment, that is a product of what you have been doing up to this moment, not what you will do in the future. Yeah. Right? You are a product of what you have done, not what you will do. And the, the brain is really good at time traveling back and forth, not so good at being in the moment. <laughs> but yeah, remember what whatever you're experiencing right now, um, it's not it's not it's something that you can redirect. It's yeah. maybe not something you can change, you know, um, not fully, not all at once, right? There's no quick fixes, all that kind yeah. of stuff. But you can start redirecting you that is within your power. So uh, right. feel powerful. Feel empowered. Yes. Even if it doesn't <laughs> feel like it. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's really a good thing, what you just said right there. You know what I mean? That we can redirect it. Because sometimes yeah. in the moment, it doesn't feel, feel that way. Yeah. 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 It's a it's a very kind of helpless, hopeless kind of feel when yeah. you're in that moment. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just saying, okay, well, how I feel about it doesn't impact my ability to take one step forward, right? That's, that's yeah. all you can do because that yeah. was all I could do was be yeah. like robot mode. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and it was, it was a struggle, but, um, I got through it. Yeah, totally. You know, and so yeah. that tells me that if or when this happens again, right, um, then I can know yeah. at least it sucks in the moment, but yeah. I can get through it. Yep. Do some do some hip openers, do some squats. <laughs>
<laughs> Get away from the squat rack. I need it in there. <laughs> Get in there now. Right. You don't, don't understand. Yes. <laughs> I'll probably start crying just yelling at whoever I'm yelling at. You don't, you don't get it. I don't care about you. I need to do my squats now. <laughs> and afterwards, I'll be like, I am so, 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 so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Can I hug you? <laughs> I'm so sorry. You know, I, I was a different person. <laughs> Just need to apologize. I'm that's sorry. right. That's right. You get road rage to stop your car, pull oh, over, do some squats. <laughs> oh. do, do some uh, some hip opening stretches. Oh. Yeah, if you're li- in line at the grocery store and <laughs> you, got like, you got like five coupon clipping Karens at Michael's ahead of you who are just mucking up the works. Yeah. Just just do some squats and line. Uh. Hold on to your car and squat down, and there's people right. will be like looking at you, and you'll be like, That's just right. waiting for Karen. That's right. Just waiting for Karen. That's it. And you tell Karen to hurry, and when she's yes. done, I'll stop squatting. That's right. <laughs> otherwise, Karen's going to hear it from me. That's right. <laughs> so, yeah. Cool. So, yeah. De stressing. Um, yeah, so uh, this week, uh, workouts are going to be based on 8 bit video game week. Yes, and like all video games of that era, the, the See, intervals means, get faster and faster as you go. That means Donkey Kong this week, right? Yeah, oh. yeah. That's a that's a oh house God. favorite, the Donkey Kong workout. Donkey I think that will be our third time, third rotation on this oh. workout. It's yes. too good not to do. Like it's one of those ones that's worth it doing yeah. three times this year because yeah. my favorite is what do we do? Oh, the hammer squats. Yep. yep. Hammer squats. I like I like the barrel toss, like the the, the medicine ball yes, toss. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Good stuff. Donkey Kong's the best one. Yeah, and uh, then for wildcard classes, oh shoot, I forget what uh, what Tuesday and Thursday are. Tuesday, I think Antonio's still doing body sculpting. Yeah, Antonio. his body sculpting class has been banging. That's been a really That's what popular I heard. class, so it's not slowing down. So he's not stopping it yet. Right, but get in on it because you never know when those coaches might change their wild card class. They have authority to change it completely at any time. Yeah. So you never know what's going to happen. Um, and then on Thursday, I'm not sure what Coach Issa is doing on Thursday. Maybe booty yoga. Maybe booty yoga, maybe core blaster, maybe something else. I don't know what she's got to show up. up. you got to show up and find out. Yeah. Uh, stay tuned for the announcements this upcoming week. And then on Saturday at 10, I will be doing a kettlebell class. Mel's Bells. Bells. Yes. Yes. Maybe blast some heavy metal. Do Mel's Bells. Yeah. Start it out with that song, Mel's Bells. Yeah. Totally. totally. That'd be your intro. Like, you can walk up from from downstairs. Yeah, exactly. I'll get a smoke machine. (laughs) Yes. What's up, Lo? Yeah. That'd be so fun. Yeah, so that'll be cool. That'll be on Saturday. Uh, Class cap at 15. Make sure you sign up ahead of time. All that good stuff. Uh, This upcoming week, we will be announcing details for the Holiday Accountability Challenge. It is time, y'all. It is time to start roping your friends into doing this wild thing with you so that they can de-stress going into the holidays. And you get a a jump start on your New Year's resolutions, you know? You don't have to wait till New Year's to start a resolution. That's so silly. In fact, I think you should do it way before then. Yeah. Yeah, get like get it today. Get it going I don't know. before. Yeah, for sure. You got to be on a yeah. good roll before then because I think science has shown or research has shown that people who wait till New Year's they don't get started till February. Right, or they yeah. don't even last. If they start till February, you yeah. know, it's it's rough, and I feel like start now. Yeah, even yeah. if you Gear start slow, pick yeah. one little thing, just start, yeah. get in the habit. Habits. habits. Yes. <laughs> Working all on those habits. Exactly. Yes. So yeah, that's part of the reason why we're doing show member, show up for yourself, uh, mm-hmm. track your progress, all that kind of stuff. So we're really looking at building the habit of just showing up for yourself, showing up for your workout, making sure that you're moving that body. And that is a great step in the right direction. After yeah. that, we can start customizing your uh, routines and your nutrition and all that good stuff to uh, get the the uh the body yadi going for yeah. for 2020 yeah yeah but it yeah. all starts with getting that routine of showing up yes absolutely i mean yeah can't do anything else without that that's like our foundation really yeah it really is yeah getting in the habit of showing up and, and be like all right this is part of my life now what's next yeah 
Yep, absolutely. And uh, and journaling too, get in the habit of journaling. For those of you who are doing book club, highly recommend doing the bullet journal method for everybody. Yes. Um, but yeah, just tracking progress from where you're at is super important. Mm -hmm. um, even if you're not doing the things that you want to do, just like having some time of reflection. Where are you spending your time? How are you going about doing the things? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you found anything interesting in that book so far? So much interesting in so there. Much. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm a little slow at reading it because, see, I usually do the audio version. Right. So, yeah. like, you know, another personal note. So I'm like a super slow reader when it comes to like reading a book. I have like extreme focus problems. Um, and so I um, read it out loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to myself. Totally. Um, and so sometimes that's not possible, right? When I'm at home and, and, the, and, and Chris is there or the kids are there. And, yeah. and, um, and then it's almost like we start to try to talk over each other because I'm like, and if you want to, da 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 da. And then the, 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 I don't know. Anyway, so I try to only do it when they're not around. And, um, and I read to myself out loud. And yeah. so that still kind of takes some time. So I'm, I'm a slightly behind as far as book club goes. But, like it is so intriguing. Like I, I have started. Um, I did that one part where it said, write down a list of what you're currently doing, what goals you want to do, and what you should be doing, or something like that. Right. And, and then just getting it all organized, yes. getting it out on paper. And then like, it said, if it doesn't yeah. matter in your life, cross it out. Yeah. And I it's was amazing like, how much brain space we dedicate to things yes. that don't actually matter. Yes. Like, why it's do we do so that? It's so beautiful. Yeah. And simplifying it. And, yeah. and that's where I'm at right now is learning how to um, do the indexing, the topics, yeah. and um, the bulleting. And nice. It's so, yeah. Nice. I can't wait. And it said in there, it said for this section, right, um, not to start your bullet journaling until you finish reading the section. So I'm trying to follow the directions. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but see, it's, so I've never done it before. Yeah. And so, yeah. I, and I'm terrible at keeping um a routine of something like that yeah and so i really want to make this stick yeah totally. and so i'm taking my time reading it out loud to myself love and, it uh, yeah love it yeah That's i think awesome. everybody should uh if, that, if you're looking to find a way to organize your mind in your life um you should look into the bullet journal method yeah for sure yeah get it out of your mind and on paper right That's way better yeah right. Yeah, totally. Free and it's your just, mind up for more interesting things. Right. Well, and it's crazy how they say that putting pen to paper um, really helps our mind to remember things. And right. Yeah, there have been a lot of studies that should be like if you actually handwrite something, it, it, it helps you remember. Right. Yeah. 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 It's crazy. As opposed to typing it or yes, know, audio recording or whatever. Yeah. It says that yeah. we're kind of on auto, autopilot when we're typing it out. Yeah. Um, but when we're handwriting it, it's like our mind is actually going through everything. Yeah. And so you recall even more as you're yeah. writing. Although, to be fair, no, this guy has not seen me type. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> so your brain has plenty of time to recall. <laughs> <laughs> you know the, what's that, that movie with the sloths? Oh, um. um I don't know. Lion King. <laughs> no. Lion King? Or Ice Age. I don't know. I don't know. In any case, yeah, like cartoon? there's like DMV sloths or something. <laughs> it's like I can relate to that. DMV sloths. <laughs> <laughs> like they're working. There's some the kind of animal movie. The the there's a there's a cop who's a a bunny, a cute little bunny rabbit. I don't know. It dial in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what answer. movie is that? <laughs> what movie is that? The cop was a... Oh, no, the bunny rabbit's the cop. Yeah. Okay, and, I was like, if a cop is a... Oh, like, and the sloths were good DMV? Yeah, that makes so like, much sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like I that. could see that. Right. Exactly. they are so slow there. Yeah, it can be a little slow. <laughs> Zootopia! Zootopia! Thank you! Thank you. Yes, Thanks Zootopia. I, I relate oh, to yeah. the sloths from Zootopia yeah. when it comes to typing. Okay, so now yeah. I want to watch that. That's hilarious. <laughs> it looks like a super cute movie. I haven't watched the whole thing through, but I've but seen lots you, of clips. you knew you yeah. could relate. Yeah, yeah, so absolutely. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see, what else is going on? Uh, uh, I don't know. So we got book club. We've got... Uh, 
the kettlebell thing coming up. We've got holiday accountability challenge. There's lots more things, guys. So make sure you Friendsgiving. Sure Friendsgiving. Yes, Friendsgiving Which is on the also 23rd. the kickoff of our holiday. That's calendar. right. So uh, I will be putting out a sign up sheet for Friendsgiving, so you can write down what you're bringing, so that everybody kind of knows. Uh, what to bring or where, where holes need filling in, all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so you can make it pump meal plan friendly. You can do um, some kind of combination food. But if you do a combo food, go ahead and put the macros on there for those people who are doing IIFYM. Let's see. He's, what does Melissa say? He's the best. He's posted on my window at work. Sloths love. Yes. <laughs> Sloths are so cute. Actually, I do love sloths. Yeah, they're adorable. I yes. watch videos of them all the time. Them yeah. and alpacas. Yeah, yeah, and and the uh, and the the porcupine who eats corn. Oh, Teddy, that was the Teddy cutest the video. Look up Teddy the porcupine eating, eating corn. corn. Yes, he makes the he's so feisty. Sound. Yeah, I don't know what I thought a porcupine would sound like, but. I that, didn't wasn't like, it. that wasn't what I thought it was. <laughs> I actually never thought about what a porcupine Yeah, I, I guess I never really gave it any thought before. But I'm so, there you go. so glad I now know. Right. Because yes. now I want to own a porcupine. Enrich your lives. Just so I can feed it. <laughs> Just so you can feed it. Or if I could have a next door neighbor who has a porcupine, then I could go and visit it every there day. There you go. Like, Perfect. I'll be by at dinner time to right. give him his meal. <laughs> He's, He's feisty. feisty. Yes. <laughs> sure. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's your homework. Show up to your class. Uh, watch Teddy the Porcupine um, and do some journaling. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and bring your friends in. Bring your friends in. Yes. Holiday accountability challenge. It's going to be fun. Yes. We're going to so do good. cool things so too. Good. Yeah. Oh, that was the other thing. Like, I'm going to do another movie night this upcoming Friday. Yeah. 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 Movie night was super fun this past Friday. We're going to do another one this upcoming Friday. Be prepared to work out for like two hours, y'all. Is. is that what you guys did? Oh, yeah. We worked really? out for the entire movie. Yeah. That's yeah. For you guys. Yeah. So it was, it was good. So it's good if you need to get a lot of a lot of yes. reps in if you're working on Gosh. those school goals. If it wasn't so yes. late at night, I would be there. Like, for, for I all would. the night owls out yeah, there. Yeah, you guys yes. are so lucky. Because <laughs> I would totally be here if yeah. it wasn't at my bedtime. Yeah. Actually, side note, <laughs> past my bedtime. <laughs> past your bedtime, yeah. I'm so like that'll be at 9 p.m. on Friday, kettlebells 10 a.m. on Saturday, all the good things coming up this week, Holiday Accountability Challenge. Bring lots of guests, bring your friends. Um, we'll get them signed up for Holiday Accountability. Just be sure to text us, let us know. Okay. And you can start bringing them in Monday, right? Yeah, yeah. We can start signing you all up for Holiday Accountability Challenge starting Monday. So um, Nice. Yes, I will see you there. Okay. Yay. Bye. Bye guys.